Every time a battle royale dies, a part of me dies too. Do you remember these battle royales? I wish they lasted through. Every time a battle royale dies, I don't know what to do. Every time a battle royale dies, what can we do? Multiplayer games come and go all the time. Growing up, people used to love arena shooters. Halo 2, Quake, Halo 3, these were all at the top of their game. Then people moved on to class-based shooters like Rainbow Six Siege, Team Fortress, and Overwatch. Then along came this little game. I don't know if you heard of it before, uh, Fortnite. And the battle royale genre became the biggest thing in gaming for years now. And I know PUBG and other games came before it, but Fortnite is what changed gaming forever. Every game company in existence tried their hands at a battle royale. EA made Apex Legends, Activision made Blackout, then Warzone, Ubisoft made Hyperscape. Indie developers released countless BRs, from the Wizard BR, to the Vampire BR, to the Party BR, to the one where you only have bows and arrows, then there was the Wrestling BR, then the knockoff PUBG. BRs have come and gone, but the biggest ones that have withstood the test of time have been Fortnite, Apex Legends, Warzone, and PUBG. I just really don't play PUBG, so this video won't really be talking about PUBG, so sorry PUBG fans. But their time on top can't last forever, and we are already seeing the cracks of a genre in fatigue. I believe that battle royales are slowly starting to die. And before you go typing into the comments in anger, defending your favorite BR, please allow me to explain what I mean by this. The battle royale genre at its peak had plenty of games vying to be at the top. In order for these games to stay relevant and be the most popular, they had to innovate the genre in ways that fundamentally changed the game. It may seem like a no-brainer now, but at the time, before Apex Legends, you could not revive teammates after they died. If you died, you were left to just watch your teammate clutch a game or lose, or you could just leave. In retrospect, it wasn't that cool. But then Apex Legends introduced death banners, and it allowed people to return even after death, prolonging the experience. It was such a good idea that Fortnite copied it on the spot. These games had to come up with innovative ideas to keep players coming back. Warzone made the Gulag. Apex Legends added Evo Shields. Fortnite just kept collaborating with everything and anything. But as time progressed and these games got bigger and bigger, the amount of unique innovations to the genre as a whole started to appear less and less. To the point that these games just stopped changing their core experience in favor of maintaining the status quo or even removing things to streamline the gameplay, like Fortnite removing building. And it's been a while since something really cool has come to these games. Fortnite hasn't copied anything in a minute, so you know it's true. And while proximity chat is a ton of fun in Warzone, it's not a game changer. Without innovation, we are left to just enjoy the games as they are. And don't get me wrong, a lot of these games are great at their core. But if you don't enjoy these games now, they probably won't change anything big enough about themselves to get you to come back. <laughs> The gameplay loop of the battle royale is getting old. This is inevitable. You can't expect people to drop in and fight off 60 to 100 people over and over again and expect that not to get dry after years. People are in the mood for a different gameplay loop, which is why people got really excited for cool limited time modes like Rebirth Island and Warzone, or complete game changers like Creative Mode in Fortnite, or Control and Gun Run in Apex. It's a complete change in genre, which makes sense. The gunplay and movement in games like Apex Legends feel really good, so gun game and control are genuinely fun experiences that don't require you to load in, loot up, and then just die, rinse and repeat. So why stop there? Add team 
team deathmatch, search and destroy. People may be over the gameplay loop of battle royales, but they aren't over the gameplay of your game. People will always be fans of LOBA. It's why Fortnite has lasted so long. They have added tons of other things to do besides the BR. And it's why Warzone decided to add DMZ. I wouldn't be surprised if we see more new game modes in all of these games and slowly see them shift to a completely different genre. It wouldn't be the first time Fortnite did it. If you recall, Fortnite was a survival PvE game before. Oh, how times have changed. The biggest battle royales are free to play, which means that their main way for players to feel any sense of progression is through a battle pass system and ranked. They rarely, if ever, have any real progression that is free, which is a whole other problem, which I talked about in my battle pass video. So let's focus on the ranked problem. Battle royales conceptually have too much RNG to be a balanced ranked game. Don't get me wrong, there are plenty of people who are extremely good at these games and climb ranks with ease. But unless you're a top 100 player, which is not not the majority of the player base, the ranked experience in these games are a mixed bag for most people. For a lot of average players out there, it's barely even a selling point, especially in games like Apex where there isn't even a solo ranked experience. You need a solid team to have a good time. I know there are people out there that solo to masters, but it's because you're making content and it's your job. Most people would find that miserable. This isn't me saying that battle royales at the highest competitive level aren't good. They are incredible. Fortnite tournaments, Apex tournaments, Warzone tournaments, they're really amazing. Seeing people playing these games at peak performance is so dope. But what I'm saying is for a player base to thrive and last, the players need to strive towards something. And without a reasonable goal, the game gets stale quick. And cosmetics aren't content. Let's just be real. The final indicator that the genre is seeing a steady decline is the lack of any new upcoming BR games. New multiplayer games in general have not been coming out as frequently, but when they do, they aren't battle royales anymore. This could just be that the biggest BR titles have edged out the competition, but it can also be an indication that the industry is shifting somewhere else. Will the future be in loot extraction games like Escape from Tarkov? It has inspired games like Warzone's DMZ, The Psycho Frontier, and Dark and Darker. Or are we going to see the resurgence of class-based shooters like Overwatch 2. Probably not that. But regardless, there's a reason why a lot of these games are shifting away from battle royales. It could literally just be money, but either way, it's not a good sign. Battle Royale games aren't going anywhere anytime soon, but I wouldn't be surprised if we saw them hit all-time lows in the future. And we as gamers want something new and fresh to come out, because dropping in, looting, killing, and winning was fun the first 10,000 times, but eventually it won't be. I love battle royales, but even I find myself a bit fatigued. But what do you think? Do you feel like the battle royale genre is dying, or do you think it's just gonna keep getting bigger and it's here to stay? Let me know in the comments down below. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll catch you later.